Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a media server for your PlayStation 3. I do believe that this process can be used for Xbox One and Xbox 360, but I haven't done it myself, so I'm not necessarily sure how, and that's not what this video will cover. Maybe I'll come back in the, uh, the future to set that up and show you how to do that process as well. But for now, this is just for PlayStation 3. Now, most guides to this date um, will tell you to use PMS. PMS stands for PlayStation Media Server. It's a pretty old software, hasn't been updated in a while. I'm pretty sure it's been abandoned. However, I tried it and couldn't get to work. Now, out of frustration, I found my own way to do it, and that's what this video will show. Very simple and easy setup. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Step one of this process is go to whatever browser you have, and then type in Servio, S-E-R-V-I-I-O, as it says right here. Then you want to click on their homepage, then it'll take you here, go up here to all these options, find download, click download, then from here you want to find your operating system. Some people that might be Linux, some it might be Mac, and for me, and probably most people, it will be Windows. So, for me, since I use Windows, I'm going to select Windows. And then, save it to my desktop. Now, I already have it installed, so I'm, I don't need to do this step, but all you got to do is save, click Save on your desktop, and it'll start downloading. Once it's done downloading, you'll find Servio 2.4-win-setup.exe on your desktop here. You want to double-click that. Now, it's not going to show for you, but it'll say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You click yes. There's no issue with that. Then you'll be greeted with this screen. You click next. I agree. Next. Install. Okay. Now that it's done installing, you click finish. That'll disappear. And then from there, you can come down to your taskbar here. Find the search option. For some people, that'll be a full search bar. For me, it's an icon. So you click it. Then you go here. And then you go to apps. And for me, it'll show up here because I uninstalled it to reinstall it to show for the video. But for you, you go to apps. Come back down here. Click right there. You'll see it. it the line show up. Then you type in Servio. And this will come up. And you will click open. Okay, after a bit of waiting, you'll be taken to this screen. So, your step one is you go to library, shared folders, then here you want to click add, then you want to find your file type or media type, whatever. For me, I want to add videos. I want to add this music video folder I have on my desktop. So to do such, you click browse. For me, since on my desktop, I want to go see. Uh, find users, tail gunner, and then scroll all the way down to desktop, and then the folder is called MV, so I highlight MV, which is the folder on my desktop, scroll all the way down, and click OK. And then we want to name this Muse, Music Videos. Okay. Now that you have your music videos, or whatever you want to add, maybe it's movies, TV shows, whatever, then you click OK. Then you click Save. And now that's done, you have one more step. You go here to Status. Then you want to scroll down. See where it says Network Settings right here? Bound IP Address. You want to click this, and you'll get a list of things. Now, I already know mine. It is Netgear A6100 Wi-Fi adapter. I will be blurring some of this because it has my IP address. So I'm going to select that. If you don't know your IP address, I'm going to teach you how to find it on Windows. But I assume that if you're on Linux, you could probably find it yourself or you already know. And if you're on Mac, I have no clue. <laughs> I don't use Mac. But you want to go to your search bar. Uh, you want to find your type CMD, then you'll see this show up. It'll say command prompt. You want to click it. 
and now that you're in CMD, you want to write I P C O N F I G. That's it. I P config. No space, no capitals, no nothing. Click enter. And then down here, you'll get a list. Maybe it's up higher for you, but you'll get a list. It'll say something like link local IPv6 address, IPv4 address, subnet mask, default gateway. Now what you're looking for is IPv4 address. Scroll over and you'll see a list of numbers. That is your IP address for this. So memorize those numbers, then come back over here to Servio. Then you want to select that and find the one that matches your IPv4 over on the command prompt. Now, once you've selected that, then you can close command prompt, come down here, click save. Then just as a precaution, I like to stop the server, then restart the server, and from there, you're good to go. Now, your next step is on the PS3. Now, as you see, my PS3 says PS3 Hen, but it's because it is modded with the Hen custom firmware. Now, I do plan to show you how to do that eventually on this channel, but as for my first video, I wanted to go small, so I picked PlayStation 3 and I picked Media Server Hosting. So, part of this video actually got copyright strike, so I'm going to re-record some of it. I'm going to show uh, um, not copyrighted footage, so here we go. So, now that your PS3 is turned on, your next step is to scroll over to the video tab. As you can see down here, you see Servio. Now, this indicates that the media server is working. If um, you, do, you do not see it, you scroll up here, click search for media servers, and it'll search, and it should find it. Alright, now that you have it all connected, your next step is to open Servio. Scroll down to whatever media type you chose. For me, I chose video. Scroll down to folders. Click on whatever folders you had, and there you go. There's a list of all your stuff. Now, as I said, I got copyright striked, so I'm going to show something that is officially out of copyright as of 2024, I believe. Just Steamboat Willie, uh, the Disney cartoon. Here we go. Okay, so now that you see that it works, um, to exit a video, all you have to do is click the circle button, and there you go. Now you have a working media server for your PlayStation 3. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing. Um, do expect more content like this in the future. I will hopefully have modding videos for multiple consoles and tutorials how to do stuff with your modded consoles and all that so uh keep an eye out subscribe if you'd like and have a great rest of your day